very best of my knowledge, this is the car that Monica learned to drive on, I think. <laughs> Gigalise. <laughs> Are we getting one? I'm going to do everything I can to try and get that. Good afternoon, welcome back. This is the final video before Monica and I head off to Lithuania. So we thought we'd make the most of it and head off to an English pub for a lovely pub lunch. It'll be the first time we've done this probably in about a year or so. So we need to make the most of it, soak it all in. I have no idea why I always start videos when I'm in Ipswich, walking downstairs. Okay, so going to go on the Bonneville, of course. We'll take you with us and we will be leaving Ipswich just, just as the heat wave comes in England and just as the heat wave disappears in Lithuania. So it's brilliant. We'll be missing all of the lovely warm weather in England and getting to Lithuania just as the lovely weather ends. It's always the way. There's a huge sale on at XL Moto at the moment. These jeans usually i mean normal price is incredible value usually these are just 83 pounds they're the coarse jones jeans i'll include all of the details for these and a link in the written description below double a rated safety jeans which is pretty good they come with all of the padding all of the the abrasion resistance they're on sale at the moment 44 pounds 44 pounds for a genuinely really good looking pair of motorcycle jeans that fit perfectly. They're slim fit. I've also got some gloves from XL Moto that are down to 28 pounds. You can basically kit yourself out really well for one to 200 pounds with some boots, some jeans, some gloves. So go and check them out because it is the big summer sale right now at XL Moto. Also today I am wearing the, I wear these so much, TCX X-Blend boots. They are brilliant and they go very well with denim jeans coupled with Throttle Snake Glove Trotter Gloves, German company. I love those gloves. <laughs> I love them. I mean, look how thin they are. They're just so classic. So dirty. They're filthy, but that's all part of the character, isn't it? Okay. I love it. And, Another one of my favorite companies, this is an American brand called Tobacco Motorwear. This is their California Overshed. It is actually made, it's made in California, this. I really mm. like it, very nice. With, of course, another American brand, Daytona Low Profile or Daytona Cruiser Helmet. Right. What about your T-shirt? Oh, yes, actually, that's a very good point. I've got a few new things from Triumph Lifestyle Collection. So this is on the Triumph Motorcycles website under the lifestyle section, which isn't biking specific with regards to protection, but they do a really nice selection of classically styled mm -hmm. pieces, whether they're t-shirts with the Triumph logo or stealth items like this. It's a 1950s style bowler collar shirt, and it's really nice, a little herringbone stitching, and perfect time, the lights just come on. It's just a really nice piece, mm -hmm. isn't it? They do some nice stealth gear, actually. Yes. So you don't have to be hardcore die-hard triumph fan to get this it's really nice quality monica yes let's go are you ready hungry. let's yes. go Sixty-one, Austin A40. What would this have been? The the British equivalent of the modern day VW Golf with red leather. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these on the road. Actually, amazing. It's roadworthy condition. What a treat. Look at that interior. How nice is that? So simple, just with the manual choke on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah.
I've never been here before, and this is like going back in time. And look what we're part next to. <laughs> Do you know, now I know, because I've done a lot of research, I immediately know, only looking at the front, this is an old one, because it's got a circular front headlamp, and... Yeah, I'm right, That's, that could be 70s or so. Wow. I also know now that that would be worth a lot of money. Look at where we are. I'll put all the details in the description below because it's, it honestly is like stepping back in time. It's completely cut off here. There's a single lane road or just a single road to get down here. No dual carriageways at all. Right in the east corner of England. Little yacht builder over there. Kind of village green out there. And the Butt and Oyster pub run by Adnams, the local brewer, right here. And that's where we're going. Good find, Monica. Thank you. find a really quiet little pub but this place is completely packed. We haven't had any food yet but I've got very high expectations. The food on everyone else's tables looks amazing so if it's as good as it looks I'll include all of the details in the written description because this is definitely a place worth a visit. We'll have a walk outside afterwards because it's a beautiful part of the world here completely cut off. Can I show you something? Because Getting ready for the imminent trip to Lithuania, I've been in touch with a friend of ours and he is in the process of hooking us up with a couple of vehicles to test out. Now these were vehicles that Monica would have learnt to drive when she was younger back in Lithuania. Vehicle number one. Oh wow, what's that? The, I think that's the Lada Neva, that's Lada Neva. the Lada 4x4. Yeah, oh, and also, look at the, the situation of it. Look at what's around it, just so many Lada Nevas. Next one. Oh, look at this. I think that's another Lada behind it. Yeah. Wow. And Jawa. That's a Jawa 350. Wow. And if I'm lucky, I'm going to be able to have that for the day. I want to show you one more as well. That's cool. And that is, I mean, look at this. Look at how many Lada Nevis are lined up there in a row. Aww. And the final one. I think, to the very best of my knowledge, this is the car that Monica learned to drive on, I think. <laughs> Jigalis. <laughs> Are they getting one? I'm going to do everything I can to try and get that. This is the car that Monica <laughs> would have been driving around on in yeah. Lithuania. Yeah, my dad had one. <laughs> it's so funny. I can't wait. So amazing. Yeah. Cannot wait. For that. I really, really hope it gets pulled off, everything comes yeah. together and we can get that because it's just from basically a private individual, so fingers crossed. Because this is an Adnams pub, this is an Adnams beer, which is brewed probably within about 40 miles of here or so, and this is the Ghost Ship Adnams. <laughs> smells delicious, it's so good. Yeah, and I have one too. I really wanted coffee, but... Yeah, I know. We did almost go for coffee, but the food will soak up the alcohol, and then we'll do a walk to soak it up as well, so we'll be fine.
I love days like this because we're just 10 minutes away from home in Ipswich, but we've never been to this place before. We had no idea it existed, and it's been such a brilliant day out. And I just did a bit of Googling. The Butt and Oyster Pub, first records of that, 1456. Mm. Incredible. They used to apparently hold incident meetings there because quite a lot of people used to die in the, the tributaries and the rivers and the sea around this area. Mm -hmm. So any deaths or incidents, they used to be held and recorded in that pub there. What a time. Okay, next video definitely will be from Lithuania. So, so unspeakably excited to actually head off there and and just explore, try out some different vehicles. Cannot wait for that. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.